All right, all right, let's get this show on the road without further ado. I told you I was going to give you monthly updates on this guitar practicing. I think I'm just going to give you a one month update. Maybe we'll do three months next time or something. Skip a month. I'm not going to feel like doing this every monthly. And you're not going to feel like hearing me every month. Uh, we're shooting this on the GoPro. It's been a while since I've shot anything on the GoPro, but the GoPro gives us a nice wide scope of this room since it's so close from me to you. Um, shows a little more. I'm not sure on the sound quality. We'll find out. Not sure on the light quality. I need to get another light in here. I need to get a camera light. You know, a soft light. Something of that nature because it's doesn't look too that great on the videos. Uh, updates. So, uh, about three days after the last guitar video, I did break a string. Bottom string popped on me. That was the first time that's ever happened. Kind of took me by surprise. So I got some new strings. I got these three pack of Ernie Ball Power Slinky. They're slightly larger than normal. first restringing I've ever done. I do have some footage of that I'll try to put in the video. Um, first string I put in which was the bottom string which is the one that broke I think I kind of messed it up and started winding it was it too short so I ended up having to scrap that string and start over that's a learning curve uh, what else we did I did add some more paint and trim to the speaker cabinet and some trim around here I'll try to give you a close up on that I will try to get it all in one video. Then also I did purchase. I needed some distortion. Not that I use it a lot. But I did purchase this off of Amazon for about 20-25 bucks. The Behringer Heavy Metal HM300. For when I want to come out here and rock and shape the shipping container. I don't know if we'll get that in the video today or not. We might. Might sound even terribler than what we are. So, let's get this video going. What are we gonna do? I am going to show you the chords I've learned. One month's time, mostly from watching Justin Guitar on YouTube. Uh, I'm not gonna say I'm really proficient at chord changes when it comes to following along on music I'm not that great yet kinda hit or miss but here without further ado are the chords we've learned maybe now I'm gonna be dumbfounded okay chords we've learned here is a D we've learned the D chord here is an A. The A chord we've learned. Now he does a little weird thing with his fingers where he tucks them. And I think that kind of threw me off for a bit. I still prefer the three in a line if I can do it. Just this thing he does, it uh, warps my brain too much. 
so I can't do that. I do do it from a certain chord change to another chord change, but usually I do the straight across for the A. What else do we have? Okay, we've got the E minor. G in here. What else do we have? Let's do the standard E. Alright, let's do the A minor. Uh, what are we missing? This one I'm not very proficient at. I'm he hasn't actually taught this on Justin guitar yet, but uh, I wanted to learn this one for something I was trying. This is the standard C. Is that it? Oh, there's another one hard that's hard for me. This is the D minor. Those are all the chords I've learned so far. Um, so let's do just a little bit of noodling along, noodling around for the heck of it. Nothing in particular. Let's go ahead and try some drop D. Drop D, Phil. 
feels like cheating. So, I've been trying to learn this here. Let's try that again. again Sweet. Let's go ahead and hook up this pedal. So there you have it, three months, or one month of progression, terrible progression, uh, probably see you again in three as much as, see if we've improved any, see if I can actually play a cohesive song for you maybe, no singing. Um, let's go ahead and wrap the video up, I'll show you the cabinet, the improvements on the cabinet we've made. And we'll shut her down from there. Thanks for watching.